Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be talking about user accounts for Magento. And I'm not talking about uh, customer user accounts, but admin user accounts. So let's say you have other people that are helping you run the site which in most cases that's probably true unless you're a small business but let's say you're using this as a larger business so you have people that aren't always um, you aren't always going to be the one doing everything on the site and you don't want to have one login that everybody shares so what you can do is set up other login accounts and even set up roles with permissions for what they can edit so today i'm going to show you how to create a new role we're going to give them permissions to only do certain things and then we're going to create a user and then we're going to log in with this user and see what that experience is like for them so if we go to system we go to permissions we're going to go to roles first and we're going to create a new role so right now the only thing in here is administrators and if you look at administrators they're going to have resource access all <laughs> and if you go to role users it's going to show admin which is me so this is good because admins need to access everything and built into magento that's how it's set up however not everybody's going to want to have access to everything so let's click this add a new role and we're going to have this just be um editor so this is just somebody who's just going to be in here okay the name at this point isn't particularly important to this lesson. It can be whatever that specific role is in your company. So role resources. Here we can have resource access all, which is what an admin is, but you already have a, a role with all. So in that case, you would just create another admin. What we want is custom, and we want them to be able to look at, um, we want them to be able to, let's say, uh, here's the list, right? So there's a ton of stuff here. You can really have it down to anything that they want to do. So I'm trying to think, we'll just have them do, um, we want them to be able to manage ratings and reviews. Um, we want them to be able to manage customer reviews. We want them to be able to manage tags. Uh, we don't want them to really be able to change tax stuff because why would they have to change that? Uh, maybe that seems like more of like an admin thing. Let's see. We also want them to be able to edit the newsletter. Uh, we don't want them to be able to, or no, we want them to be able to edit CMS pages. That way, in case there's like typos or anything, you don't have to be bothered to get in there to do that. Um, what else? You know, let's see. There's all sorts of different things in here, right? So you can have this be so finely tuned to what you need them to do and have only have access to those things. We don't want them to be able to uh, import or export. I'm just minimizing this. We don't want them to be able to create users. We don't want them to be able to install some things with Magento Connect uh, web services. Uh, we don't care about them seeing notifications. They do not need to touch configuration, uh, nor with mobile. So pretty much any of the system stuff they don't need to touch. Um, Let's go back up here and let's see. Uh, we want them to be able to do anything with orders because they're going to be the people that are handling the orders, invoices, shipments, and um, we don't need them to touch billing agreements, tax. Um, so this seems pretty good. Oh, they can also manage customers, um, but not change attributes or anything. Okay, so this is good. So let's just save this role. This is our editor. Like I said, you have to go in there and finally tune this to be exactly what you want them to have access for. But it's really laid out, and those menus are in the same order and same uh, layout as these are. So you should, by looking at that, you should be able to tell exactly what that person's going to be able to do. So let's come over here, and now we're going to go to permissions, users, and we're going to create an editor. So I'm going to add a new user. And this username, let's see, this is going to be, um, their, their name will just be like, uh, let's just say it's Tim, right? Just for whatever reasons. That's their username and Tim, Tim, okay. Um, uh, I don't want this to be a real email. I wonder if I can have this just be my email. Okay. Okay, and it's going to be active. Um, you can also have user accounts here that are disabled so that if somebody is no longer working at your store but you don't want to delete them out of the system, you can just have it be set to inactive. So now we're going to have them be an editor. Okay, and we don't need to touch rest role. Let's save this. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to add a. Okay, G 
cheat password. Oh, okay, so it's getting mad about my email. Um, I'm just going to use Scott at Level Up Tuts. I have like a thousand emails. Uh, okay. Okay, that should be good now. We'll save this. Cool, now we have Tim, Tim, okay, who has an email, Scott. So I'm going to open this up in a, a new window where I'm not logged in. It's just an incognito window um, in Chrome. And this is just so we can see that this person isn't logged in. And now I can log in as uh, Tim. So Tim, and then his password. Okay. So he gets his message. This is what his admin section looks like. If you notice, he doesn't have configuration. He doesn't have anything really. I mean, he's got CMS so he can get in here and edit this stuff. He's got newsletter templates. He's got customer stuff. He can do catalog reviews and tags, but he cannot add products, but he can also view orders, invoices, and shipments. So here you can see that he's getting in here viewing this. He can edit it. Um, and so, yeah. So this is what it looked. This is what the site would look like in the admin section for Tim as a member of our store. This way, he's not able to get in, mess with any of the stuff, and he can only do the stuff that you need him to do or whoever. Okay, well that's adding a user uh, in Magento and being able to configure their permissions as an administrator. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts, and uh, you know, just let us know what you're thinking. And you can, you know, hit me up at my Twitter is at s Um Just let me know what's up. Okay. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching.